<laughs> Hi guys. Hi. <laughs> uh, I'm late. I got I got a nap in this afternoon, right? For a little bit. <laughs> it's six thirty our time. Uh -huh. I've been up for a while, but yeah, I did take a nap. We had supper, got that all done. And uh, so now we gotta get a video in. It's been a busy day around here. <laughs> got this cold snapping, man. Getting the fire, keep it going, and, and uh, getting wood brought in. But I don't know what it is now. It must be four degrees, or I don't know. it come up. It was. It's warmed up. It was. What up. does it say on your? Uh, it doesn't say. It's behind that that thing, and I can't see it. But I mean, it, there's no numbers down there. Yeah, there's no numbers. Four degrees. It's minus four. Went up and see it. Oh, it come up to six. Oh. We went from minus four to, to six above today. Woohoo! <clears throat> I've not looked at that it's all day. It's cold. I just knew it was cold. It's been cold all day. But we have a, we have a neat short one here today on Ephesians five eighteen. There's not a whole lot to it as far as references go, and so it, <laughs> we'll appreciate that, won't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I was looking on the Herald of God's Grace website. Man, there's a lot of neat things in there. And uh, we was reading one a while ago on John Essex. Uh, I have to share that with you someday. I'll get it printed off here so we can read it. <clears throat> it's pretty neat. So, anyway, let's get into what we got here today. Yeah, you shut up. All right, I guess I'm ready. <laughs> Hello, dear brothers and sisters chosen by the happy God. Today we are noting this concerning our verse we are looking into from A. Enoch's commentary. <clears throat> it said, excess of wine leads to drunkenness, which is not good, but an overflowing spirit is to be commended. It manifests itself in songs and thanksgiving and subjection. <clears throat> I remember the first time I got into wine, I was like 14 years old. The guys that we was hauling hay for, his kids snuck out a bottle of, of blackberry wine, put it in the hay barn. <laughs> that was a bad day. That was a bad day. I learned not to drink hot wine while hauling hay. <laughs> That's a bad deal. James Quorum writes, in part, from the word of Christ, its grace and power from concordant expositions. In our verse today, Paul is admonishing us not to be drunk with wine, but to be filled full, filled full with spirit. Yep. In Colossians three sixteen and eighteen, he writes, "Let the word of Christ be making its home in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing yourselves in psalms, in hymns, and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to God." And whatsoever you may be doing, in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving thanks to God the Father through him, being part being part of being full with spirit has to do with what we focus on. Yeah, that's right. We are being exhorted to let, which is uh, a passive sense, which is putting the initiative with God through the Holy Spirit and no one else. As Paul writes in Colossians 3.16, to let the word of Christ be making its home in, you, in us richly. <clears throat> we see Paul writes it again this way. For who knew the mind of the Lord? Who will be deducing from him? Yet we have the mind of Christ in Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2.16. Whenever we hear and realize the grace of God in truth, like we see in Colossians 1.16, has been given to any of our fellow believers. We also, from the day in which we hear, do not cease praying for you and, and requesting that you may be filled full with the realization of His will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding in Colossians 1, verse 9. This is having the same dis disposition, the same mind as Christ. Philippians 2, 5 reminds us, for let this disposition be in you, which is in Christ Jesus also. This is Paul's prayer for us, for us to walk worthily of the Lord for all pleasing, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the realization of God. 
being endued with all power and accord with the might of his glory, for all endurance and patience with joy. And at the same time, giving thanks to the Father who makes you competent for a part of the allotment of the saints in light. Colossians 1, 10 through 12. <clears throat> All right. So okay. You got the yawnies oh, going on. What's up with that? I don't know. <laughs> Ephesians five eighteen, And be not drunk with wine in which is profligacy. Prof Profligacy. Guessy. Profligacy. Okay. Profligacy. Which is an unsafe action. But be filled with spirit. Yep. That's our verse for the day. What we're in Ephesians 5 18. What we're going <clears> to <throat> get these references. You're going to yawn again. Oh, it's <laughs> All right. We kick them off in Romans 13, 11 through 14. This also do. Being aware of the era, that it is already the hour for us to be roused out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night progresses, <clears throat> yet the day is near. We then should be putting off the acts of darkness, yet should be putting on the implements of light. You know, the acts of darkness are. Well, it's the stuff that it, Satan does. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's our fleshly and it's desires. Little, it's, yeah, and his little demons. Keep putting it in front of our eyes you know we have that as in the day respectively we should be walking not in revelries and drunkenness not in chambering and wantonness not in strife and jealousy but put on <clears throat> the lord jesus christ and be making no provision for the lust of the flesh yeah they're warning against each other that's in uh, right hand side it's on the uh, galatians 5 <clears throat> first corinthians 5 9 through 11 I write to you in the, in the epistle not to be commingling with paramours. And undoubtedly, it is not as to the paramours of this world or the greedy and extortioners or idolaters else. Consequently, you ought to come out of the world. Yet now I write to you not to be commingling with anyone named a brother if he should be a paramour or greedy or an adulterer or a rivaler, reviler or a drunkard or an extortioner. With such a one, you're not even to be eating. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. Don't break bread with those. those guys. <clears throat> we they're still brothers, you know, sisters. We just don't associate with them. Uh, that's what that's saying. Galatians five nineteen through twenty one. Not that we're any better than they are, you know. No. It's just it, it just Paul said, don't do that. Galatians five nineteen through twenty one. Now, parent are the works of the flesh, which are. Adultery and prostitution. These are the fleshly things. Uncleanness and wantonness. Idolatry, enchantment, enmities, strife, jealousies, furies, factions, dissensions, sex. Envies, murders, drunkenness, revileries, and the likes of these, which I am predicting to you, according as I predicted also, that those committing such things should not be enjoying the allotment of the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6 9 through 11. Or are you not aware that the unjust, a falsehood, shall be enjoying the allotment, sh shall not be enjoying the allotment <clears throat> of God's kingdom? But be not deceived. Neither paramours, nor adulterers, nor adulterers, nor catamites, no sodomites, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revelers, revilers, no extortioners shall be enjoying the allotment of God's kingdom. Now, and some of you are these, Here's the, but you are bathed off, but you are hallowed, because we've all been there. We, But we were, were justified in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the Spirit of our God. 1 Thessalonians 5, 7 through 11. For those who are drowsing are drowsing at night, and those who are drunk are drunk at night. But <clears throat> Yeah, yet we, being of the day, may be sober, putting on the crash of faith and love and the helmet, the expectation of salvation. For God did not appoint us to indignation, but to the procuring of salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. Who died for our sakes, that whether we may be watching or drowsing, we should li be living at the same time together with him. Wherefore, consult. Console one another and edify one the other, 
according as you are doing also. Galatians 5, 22 through 25, we see now the fruit of the Spirit is love. And, and it's who God is. God is love. And from that, we have joy and peace and patience and kindness, goodness and faithfulness. <clears throat> you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. It comes from him. And if we may be living in spirit. Wait, let me oh, finish sorry. this now. Meekness, self-control, against such things there is no law. Now these, those, meekness, self-control, against such things there are no law. There is no law. Good grief. <laughs> now those of Christ <clears throat> Jesus crucify the flesh together with its passions and lusts. Yeah, so we have that big list of, of the fleshly desires. And then we find all these these are the spirit, the fruit of the spirit here in, in Galatians five, twenty two through twenty five. Uh you missed. No, that was all the if we be living in the spirit and spirit we may be we may be observing the elements also. So that was all the references we have for Ephesians five eighteen. <clears throat> Put on then as God's chosen ones. Holy and beloved, pitiful compassions, kindness, humility, meekness, patience, bearing one another and dealing graciously among yourselves. If anyone should be having a complaint against any, according as the Lord, as the Lord also deals graciously, graciously with you, thus also you. Yeah, now it's easy to say, isn't it? Now over all these, put on love, which is a tie of maturity. And let the peace of Christ be arbitrating in your hearts, for which you are called also in one body, and become thankful. Let the word of Christ be making its home in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to God. Yep, and everything, whatsoever you may be doing, in word or in act, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Colossians 3, 12 through 17. So that was our our study we put together for today. <clears throat> Sorry, so late getting it out. <laughs> Keep my eyes open. But anyway, we love you guys. He gets relaxed, he goes to sleep. But yeah. I'm the same way, so. No, I got relaxed. And boy, I dozed off. <laughs> I woke up at 1 30. Yeah, Last night. we get up early. I went back to bed about three. So it's yeah these nights, but start out in my bed and end up in the chair. It's something. It's something. But I think we're all the whole body is going through things, and uh, you know again, it, any of my scriptures over here, please. <clears throat> the big book. That's yeah this one. Because I was seeing something the other day here in Romans. Here, put your arm down. This is, <laughs> uh, I, was going to, I was going to show that Jackie said, hey, show that picture. Of, all right. She did not. Yeah. And uh, Jackie, come down to Missouri and you can see it. <laughs> come on. <laughs> see, we're all going through stuff. Now, here in Romans 8, this is it. here. See this right here, Romans 8, verse 18 starts off For I'm reckoning that the sufferings of the current era do not deserve the glory about to be revealed for us. For the premonition of the creation is awaiting the unveiling of the sons of God, which is us, awaiting for us, for to us to be unveiled. You know, that's what we're waiting on. For the premonition is waiting the unveiling of the sons of God. For to vanity was the creation subjected, not voluntarily, but because of him who subjects it. You know, God is a, he subjected it to him. In expectation that the creation itself also shall be freed from the slavery of corruption. You know, there is, you look around. The corruption is there, and the world is in a slave of it. And to the glorious freedom of the children of God. You know, we have freedom. Scripture says that for freedom, Christ frees us, right? <laughs> for freedom, Christ frees us. So they're looking for this freedom that we have But our body keeps, in keeps us in jail. Yeah. 
<laughs> For we are aware that the entire creation is groaning and travailing together until now. Yet not only so, but we ourselves, we who have the first fruit of the Spirit, we ourselves also are groaning in ourselves. You know, we're doing it here today. We've done it. <laughs> Sorry. Awaiting the sonship of the deliverance of our body. For to expectation were we saved. Now expectation being observed is not expectation. For what is what anyone is observing, why is he expecting it also? Now, if we are expecting what we're not observing, we are awaiting it with endurance. See, that's we uh, <laughs> we got to stay focused on things above. That's where we got to stay. My nose get running. So, that's the neat thing. Stay focused on things above, where Christ is. You know, that's where our expectation, our allotment is among the celestials in Him. So. Anyway, we love you all. It's time to go see what God's got for us the rest of the evening. Yep. And hopefully we'll talk to you all tomorrow, Lord willing. Okay. And we'll see you then. Love you guys. Love you. <laughs>